All right, well, we are keeping you updated on breaking news out of Midtown Tulsa, where a school is on fire this morning. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live at the Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences with the very latest information. Dan. Yeah, Dean, I want to tell you what we know as of right now. So far, eight firefighters have been taken to the hospital because of this. The fire itself, they were all taken because of burns. The fire itself is still ongoing. At times, it looks like it has died down, and then it just flares back up. Smoke is filling the sky here, and really, there are just dozens of people, neighbors and students out here watching this. Right now, one of the students who just got here is Lindsey Johnson. Lindsey, I know you're a 12th grader, 12th grader here. You just got here a few minutes ago. What is it like to see your school up in flames like this? It's definitely incredible. Um, something that we all wished for when we were third graders, maybe, but I mean, I think everybody's pretty devastated. All right. You know, were you just coming to school for the day? Did you hear about this from a friend? How did you hear about what happened? I was asleep. I got a phone call and thought it had to be an emergency and answered it. And sure enough, he saw us on fire. Now, I think it's safe to say you guys obviously will not be having school today. Have you heard anything from any of your teachers, any of the faculty with the school? No, we don't know anything yet. I mean, it's so early, but um, hopefully, I mean, hopefully there's something that's able to be done. I mean, at TSAS, we're a family, and I think we're going to be able to all pull through it together. All right, great. Thank you very much, Lindsay, for joining us. Again, we are going to stay out here because this fire is still very much ongoing. Again, eight firefighters have been taken to the hospital, and we'll bring you the very latest as it becomes available. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.